We want more ships, and Mr. Bevin calls for more men to build them. Although the enemy's U-boat success claims are more than double our actual losses, they're serious enough. Day in and day out, the battle of the Atlantic against our vital communications goes on. So every ounce of energy is required to make good the losses from submarine, torpedo and aerial attack. The best brains in the world are concentrating on designing ships which can be built rapidly to repair the wastage. Foundries are working all out to provide the material for ships which are being constructed in sections on the ground. These sections are then hauled into place for final riveting and welding. All this activity does not absolve any one of us from avoiding waste of a single ounce of food or anything which requires shipping space. Nor does it mean we have enough men in the shipbuilding industry. We haven't. Mr. Bevin calls for 50,000 more. All honor to the men who, by the sweat of their brows, are helping and will help what the First Lord of the Admiralty called the Dunkirk Drive to fill the gaps in our merchant navy. <laughs>